Like, uh, how big are these? Or crackers, or whatever. I call it a cookie. Like, uh, you said they were big. Is it, like, your <laughs> traditional size one, or did they come out with, like, absurdly huge ones? Uh... Well, it's big... a... a big container. Oh, a big container. Okay. Me, I made some, uh... I made some bread dough. And then I flattened it out, and I put a little bit of mozzarella and a few slices of pepperoni in there. And I balled it up and I deep fried it. And then the first, the first couple I didn't cook all the way through, so it was like really doughy in the center. Because I was fucking hungry, you know? I, I was like... Oh, I like this, and I'll just put it in my mouth, and I got third-degree burns on my lips and tongue, and, you know, welts down my throat. Not really, but, uh, I dipped it in, uh, some marinara and a little bit of sriracha. Uh, sriracha. You know, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. It's spelled S-R-I-R, -R, so I ended up pronouncing it as such. Sriracha. But, like, uh... Sean ended up telling me one day is that, you know, I hear it pronounced uh, Sriracha, and I was like, you know, I completely I, I completely agree with you, because it's easier to say it that way. And that's what I thought it was at first, until I read it. And we googled it, and lo and behold, it's not pronounced so that R is completely superfluous. Sort of like the P in the pterodactyl. It's not pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I had for dinner last night. Wow. Hmm. Okay, this one is kind of a racy subject. So, if you don't want to answer this, you don't have to, okay, Jared? Do you prefer to eat at home or huh. eat out? Say that's a joke because eating out is usually uh, eating vagina, but no, in this case, it's just like saying, "Do you rather eat at home or eat at a restaurant?" Both. I uh, order from a restaurant, and then you like uh, take it back home. Mm-hmm. Mm, you know what? I will say that's an acceptable answer because, like. That that sounds reasonable to say, but let's say one or the other. Let's say that some kind of supernatural force is trying to dick with you and said that you can only do one or the other. Uh, uh, stay home. Stay home. I would completely agree with you because, like, I like eating out. That's what she said. And, uh, you know what, that doesn't really work. Because I already have addressing the same joke a moment ago. And I can't refer back to the same joke. Anyway. I like eating out and, uh, the... It would just become way too expensive. If I never had to worry about the cost of the food, then sure, I would eat out every single time. I wouldn't have to wash a single dish. I would, uh, probably have better food than I'd make. But I, I can cook. I can bake to some degree. And it, it's just, like, way cheaper. Like, uh, do you know how much I usually spend on groceries each month? Uh, well, you... Uh, all your foodies? Yeah, just the food. No, I mean all your foodies. All my foodies. Yeah, you spend all your foodies on your, on, on food. Yeah, yeah, my, well, actually, no, I get it substantially mm -hmm. less now, like 30 mm -hmm. bucks in food stamps. Oh. Like, uh, yeah, because uh, all utilities are included in my joint, and the one prior to it, I had to pay for my utilities out of pocket. So that's where the money was uh, coming from for that. 
But, uh, I paid probably about, like, uh, not counting my food stamps, I pay probably about $90 out of pocket for my food each month. Which is only for one person and just for me. Actually, some of that money goes to uh, Kagome as well. Because uh, recently I've been taking chicken and uh, grinding it up and mixing it with her dry food with a little bit of egg. All right, but if if I had to pay for it, then I would eat at home. If someone else mm -hmm. was paying for it mm -hmm. and it was all taken care of, then I'd eat out every single time. No question. I mean, does that sound like uh, a reasonable thing for you too? Oh, wait, I didn't think about something because, like, uh, if it was, like, 12 o'clock at night and I ended up getting the munchies, I wouldn't be able to eat inside of my own house. Ooh. Why not? But, well, because, like, uh, you would have to, like, uh, you can't eat at home if you're going to be, if you only had the option to eat out. Uh. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, uh, if you were eating if you chose eating out, then you couldn't have cookies or shit at your house. You would have to go out to, like, I don't know, fucking Dunkin' Donuts or something. Uh, what would you be doing if you were not here right now? Wow, an existential question. <laughs> but I think we know what they're talking about. Uh, I'll go first then. Uh, what would I be doing if I were not here right now with you watching you play uh, YouTuber's Life? I would be awake for probably about 30 minutes now. And I would probably be editing an episode in all honesty because I would have been probably finishing up uh, the like, I watched Northern Lion play The Binding of Isaac, and I really like his stuff. He's, he's able to bullshit like a master, and I could learn things from this guy, I tell you. And I would probably be editing an episode because he probably have won the match by now. Uh, do you have a better idea of what you would be doing if you weren't playing YouTuber's Life right now? Watching other YouTubers sleeping. Or sleeping. Yeah, sleep sounds really nice. Uh, me and Jared, uh, we did a recording session with uh, Kasha last night on Borderlands 2. And it was, I, I, I had a blast towards the end because I ended up putting a new skill point in uh, his tree where I regenerate health when I kill someone. I was like, ah. Oh. I kept on getting my ass kicked. Jared really saved my life uh, many, many times, but I'll be able to be a big boy now and take care of myself a little bit better. Jared always does an awesome job. Yeah, hopefully. What do you think your life would look mm -hmm. like in 10 years? Mm -hmm. uh, who knows? You know, that's a valid response. But let's go into uh, mysticism here and... Uh, ask ourselves what do we want to see ourselves like in 10 years with realistic standards uh, a, uh, a, uh, a good living situation Mm. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not worried about uh, uh, moolah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. You know, that's a valid, uh, that's a valid concern that would no longer be an issue that a lot of people would want. 
I would see myself realistically. Hmm. Well, have a fiance, or at least a girlfriend. Ten years? Actually, ten years. I would be at least married and probably have, like, a, a child, if not already, but on the way. I would... probably move to my hometown in the suburban area and I might move back to Olean. I really liked I really liked Olean. Like uh crime was a lot lower. But then again, like uh being in my hometown and uh be within walking range of my family's business. I could probably go over to my uncle's store. I wouldn't be afraid of walking around at night. Like, uh, the town that I'm in right now, holy shit, Jared. Like, uh, there, like, uh, say probably about three months after I moved in here, there was a kid who got shot in the street right next to me. And that is right next to the school. Like, I lived right next to the school, so... Holy hell, mm -hmm, what the fuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, going back to what I would uh, think my life would look like. Hopefully, I'll be a better editor. I mean, if I'm a better, better editor, better at special effects, know what I'm doing, love what I'm doing. Um, living arrangement, I'll probably still be renting from a place. If not, I'll build a cabin on my father's property and, uh, live in that. Like, uh, mm, but as we all know, the world's going to end in November, so. Like, a little dark humor because of politics and stuff like that, but we won't go into that. Uh, like, just pick anyone and you're gonna lose. Let's just go with that. What celebrity do you like to follow? What celebrity do you like to follow? Okay. I think we should have some conditions. What is your definition of a celebrity? A person who's, like, uh, has notoriety in the public's eye? Uh, I guess so. Um, all right. So I guess, you, like, uh, ah! YouTubers... Ah! also count internet personalities but it could also mean movie stars and stuff like that I would say the celebrity that I like to follow George Takai like he has some like really funny things that are on Facebook and yes I'm an old crony who uses Facebook but that's usually to keep in touch with family events and I just Never knew anyone who uses Twitter except for Jared here. Nope. So, yeah, George Takai. I'm probably forgetting someone, but I'm going to just say ah! that's my usual reaction. Ah! <laughs> How about you, Jared? Ah, Hypno. Yeah, I haven't watched his stuff in the longest time, but he's a real laid-back, uh, relatable dude. I like, I like Hypno. Uh, yeah, me and, <coughs> me and my girl, uh, watch him every time there's, uh, uh, a new, uh, mm. yeah. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds really nice. <clears throat> okay, this one's a really interesting one. And I'm going to say that there's going to be no roof on this one. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? You could not fail. 